folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Studio One Snapshots. And uh, today I'm going to take a look at the new plugin for Studio One 7.2. Uh, Sub-Zero bass. Now I'm just going to audition some of the sounds and uh, I'll probably touch on a few of the controls but I haven't really dug deep into the plugin yet but I wanted you guys to actually hear what it sounds like and for someone who's really not into this kind of stuff I'm actually really impressed. It's got a really good sound and it's really good for multi-tracking. All right so let's go to the classroom and here it is. It's a pretty little plugin. It looks very much like some of the other plugins that Personas has put out there recently. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to go through some of the presets. And they're actually quite cool. So the first one here, this is the default preset. All right, and this one is called Brawl, and I use this for actually two of the tracks. It's got a very old school synth kind of sound. And then here is the second track that I did. And the next sound that I have is called <laughs> Anticipation. So let me move this out a little bit. Let's see Anticipation. Now this particular one, I'm trying to remember, there was an old, old keyboard plugin. And I can't remember who made it, so I shouldn't have brought it up. Um, but this one also reminds me of a plugin I used to have uh, back in the 90s, one of the first, like the late 90s, early 2000s. And uh, I just love the echo sound like that. All right, so the next sound is called uh, Final Destination. That's got a cool sound. Should be one more. Very cool. All right, so, and this one is called Somber Note. Watch this. It kind of has that um, old uh, Simmons uh, uh, Tom sound. These are all coming from Sub-Zero Bass. All right, last but not least, this one is called Mental Vortex. <clears throat> now, I mean, it's, I just love the panning. All right, so the entire song that I put together, I'm just going to kind of add the tracks one at a time. So the only thing that's not Sub-Zero bass here is my drums. one of my uh, home studio trainer custom kits so here's the first one the sub-zero base uh, this is the default then here's the first brawl track here's the second And uh, let's anticipate anticipation. All right, here's the final destination. Sombrano, my little drum fills. <laughs> I love those. Very cool. And the last one is the mental vortex. Can turn that up a little. Now 
that's all from one plugin. And it's labeled Sub-Zero Bass, but some of the sounds sound really good for like little even uh, synth solos, arpeggiated parts. It's actually quite cool. It's a very simple plugin. Uh, there are going to be some naysayers say, oh, it's just another, you know, just another boring plugin. I happen to like it, and I don't even do this kind of music. So let us take a look. I'm just going to use the default sound here. All right. So you've got uh, everything from cutoff to drive to a bit depth. So if I go ahead and I arm this. Oops, wrong one. There it is. So we can add a little bit of flavor. And again, you can automate these if you wish. Here's the just uh, the drive. I'm actually using my old Atom for uh, some of the uh, pressure sensitive options. All right, I'm not a big fan of the drive. Let's see the bit depth. There it goes. You can hear some of the high end. Oops. I just changed something. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at how this guy works. So let me bring that back down. That back down. Oops. That was in the middle. All right. That's not doing much for that sound. So let's go to the next one. Oh, that's cool. And again, you can automate all this stuff. Yeah, I've got that pan left. There we go. <laughs> this almost looks like one of those aliens from War of the Worlds, the original one. <laughs> All right, so you've got everything from attack. You can move all of that stuff around. You got your release. And then you have a whole bunch of controls down here, which you can actually bypass if you wish. So let's see. I'm not sure what some of these are gonna do. Like I said, I haven't really delved into this thing. Elved, is that a word? That's pretty cool. That's like a panning. Then you got effects. Everything from reverb and delay. Here's a resonance saw. Let me choose a different sound here. Well, that was the other one. <laughs> oh. some more and you've got an arpeggiator wow this is pretty cool Change the volume of some of the arpeggiated notes. And you've got.
got a hold. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's nice. And then you've got the pattern. I'm not quite sure what that does, but like I said, you've got a lot of things that you can adjust and that you can work with here. Here's a repeater. Here are more overall reverbs. And here's another delay. You can add all of these uh, to the entire sound if you wish. And I think that's going to about do it like that. And then you're, there's your overall volume. And this is, yeah, global effects. So this is really cool. So I'll leave a comment in the comments area. Is this something that you would use? It probably isn't something that I would use uh, too often because I pretty much just do, you know, guitar, bass, drums, and that kind of thing. But I think, let me actually close this and not save and then reopen it. And I just really, um, I really think this is cool if you're uh, just getting into programming and uh, putting together music like this. So this is like the first song I think I've ever done like this. All right, so tell me what you guys think in the comments area. I'd uh, love to get your opinion on the new plugin. Uh, if you have any ideas for other kinds of plugins that Personas could come up with, I'd like to see more acoustic instrument style plugins, but we'll see. Uh, so this is the uh, first major update for Studio One, Studio One 7.2, and hold out because more is coming. I'll see you guys in the next video.